Okay guys, so let's go ahead and learn how to draw cyclohexane rings. So I know, um, who has my cyclohexane out there? Oh, there it is, okay. So here's our cyclohexane that we have. So now we're going to learn how to draw these things. So remember, we can do chair flips or ring flips. So when we do that, uh, the axial bonds will turn into equatorial bonds, right? So let's just show that on the video. So this would be just part of a 3D model? Yeah, this would be a 3D model here. Mm -hmm. okay. So if you look at that orange one, that orange uh, atom, right? It's up equatorial now, okay? So let's flip it. When we do the flip, what happens? It becomes up axial, okay? So notice, it changed from equatorial to axial, but it didn't change from up to up, okay? So we're going to show that. So how do I draw a chair? So I like to start with this drawing, so draw this line. So it kind of looks like a crooked bow tie. Okay, you see that? So this line here is going to be parallel to this line. Okay. This line is parallel to that line. I know it's a little off. Okay. This line is parallel to this line. And this line is parallel to this line. Everybody see that? So now let's draw the axial bonds. When we're drawing axial bonds, we've got to go to the points, all the points, and draw a line either straight up or straight down. Okay? So we're going to start here. This one, so you see kind of the point is pointing up. You guys see that? It's kind of pointing up. So that gives you an indication of which way to draw the axial bond. Whenever that arrow, if you will, if this kind of looks like an arrow to you, and it's pointing up, do you guys see what I'm saying? Okay. That means the axial bond is going to go up. Okay. So when you draw an axial bond, it goes straight up from that point. Okay. So it's going to be like that. That's the axial bond. So do you see this kind of arrow here? If you can pretend this is an arrow. You guys see that? Is that arrow pointing up or down? Down. Down. So the axial is going to be down on that one. You've got to point it straight down. Like that. Is everybody okay with that? So this arrow, which way is it going? Up. So the axial is going to be what? Up. Guess what this one's going to be? Down. Down. So how are we going to draw it? Straight down. Not at any sort of angle. Okay? Straight down. Don't be drawing it over here. Okay? That's not right. What about this one? What's it going to be? Up. Up. And it's going to be straight, straight up. up. Okay. Straight up. And then this one? Down. down. Straight down. This one I like to put behind. So it can remind you that you, know, you can't really see that whole bond. Okay, so the axial bonds are written in blue. Okay, so we'll write that for you. Axials are in blue. We'll write the equatorials in red. Okay. So, the equatorial bonds are a little weirder to put in, they're a little, I guess, more difficult, not too difficult, but they're parallel to two lines away from them, okay? So when I have this one, this carbon already has an axial bond, so the other bond it has to have is an equatorial bond. Does everybody understand that? Okay. So every one of these carbons has an axial bond and an equatorial bond. So if you've already written your axials, 
So I recommend you do this first, to write your axials first, then your equatorials will come in pretty easily, okay? So the equatorial here has to be parallel to this line, because it's two away. So the equatorial bond is going to be here, like that, okay? So notice how I've drawn it parallel to that line there, okay? So you see that's one, two away. Did you guys get that? One, two. Or you can say one, two away. Either way, it's parallel to that line. So this one here, this equatorial, is going to be pointed which way? <coughs> yeah, kind of up and to the side there. Okay, so like this. Okay. What about this one here? So two bonds away now. So it's going to be one, two, like that. No, it doesn't go that way, it goes out. Look at your structure if you're having a hard time. Do any of these bonds point in towards the ring? No. Okay, don't make them point in towards the ring. Okay? What about this one? Where is it going to go? This way, right? Yep, very good. Like that. This one? Like that, and then this one, which way is it going to go? Up towards the board or towards me? Towards the top of the board, right? Like that. Okay. So we're going to put a little substituent here. So this would be like our orange, our orange uh, substituent on this one. Okay, so you notice this is pointing axial up, right? So we're going to do a chair flip, and what's it going to be doing? Equatorial up, right? Equatorial up. So let's do our chair flip. So the chair flip is just a conformational change, so it can go back and forth. Okay, so when you do the chair flip, you got to draw this backwards. Okay, so how do I do that? You got to get used to this. Like that. Okay, so it's that backwards kind of stretched out bow tie. Now I'll point. Put my um, axials in first, okay? But the axials, so axials over here are blue, right? Equatorials over here are red. But over here, the axials will be what color? The red ones, right? They're going to be the red ones because when we flip, right, what happens to our equatorials? They become axials, right? And the a a equi axials become equatorials, right? So here, the red ones will be axials, right? And the blue ones will be equatorials, okay? So let's go ahead and write all of our axials first. Okay, so whenever we're writing the axials, we look for the arrow to tell us which way to write the first one, okay? So, you guys see kind of that arrow pointing up there? So you might as well just start there, okay? So, straight up like that. Is everybody okay with that? Anybody not okay? How about we ask that question? Okay, wonderful. Then axial is going to be what here? Straight down. Okay, what about here? Straight up, right? Here. Here. Up. Here. Down. And remember, we'll kind of make a little break. Okay? So now let's draw all our equatorials. Remember, they're going to be blue because of the ring flip. Okay? So here, remember, whenever we draw our equatorials, they're parallel to the line two lines away. Okay, so that this one is going to be parallel to that one. Is everybody okay with that? Everybody.
everybody okay with that one? Yes. yes. Okay, wonderful. I know you guys are busy drawing. So like that. Right. Everybody get that one? Makes sense? Yes. 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 Everybody? Okay, good. How about this one? What's it going to do? Like that? Is that what you would have done? Hopefully. What about this one? Is this going to come towards me or toward, away from me? Towards me, right? It's going to look like that. It's parallel to two away. Okay. One, two. Okay. I promise you I've drawn these things millions of times. So. Okay. So this one, two away, where is it going to go? Yeah, so these ones are easy, right? These ones are tough to think about, okay? Just remember they're never going to go towards the inside of the ring, okay? If you start pointing them towards the inside of the ring, everything's wrong. Just think about what would happen. All the stair hindrance, bad bond angles, all that bad stuff that you want to about, okay? This one, pretty obvious, pointing kind of slightly down. And then this one, away from me, right? Away from me, get that. Like that. Okay? So now let's put that X. Where would that X be when I did that flip? The top. You might think it's going to be there, right? But it's not, right? Because it's going to be, what, it, what is it here? It's axial up. So what has it got to be over here? Equatorial up. So if we put it there, is it equatorial up? No. Uh uh. Well, it's going to be there. Okay. You guys see that? So let's just write what we did here. So we went from axial up. Okay. So when we do our ring flip, Right? We go to up stays up, right? But axial goes to equatorial. Like okay. Questions? Comments? You guys should be able to draw these things on your own, okay? I'm gonna kill it because we're running out of battery life.